since time immemorial on this land. These trees have been growing up here. Our spirits have been walking the earth. Brother Michael has asked us to, to help you begin your journey in a good way, to let the spirits know, to let the forest know, and the river, they'll be coming through the territory and quiet, so uh, coming on a, on a journey, coming on uh, solitary time on the river, to, to learn from the strength of this place, and to learn from the, the strength of the river. Our brothers ask that we help speak to our ancestors to let, let them know that you're coming, and also to help us all focus our energy on the important work that's going to take place. The uh, Stamsh, the, uh, the warriors who travel alone in difficult conditions and become very strong, bring what they get from this beautiful place, bring that back to the community and teach people what they've learned and to act as inspiration in their own strength. We want to start this day carefully. The joining of two different worlds here, right on the edge of the river, in the forest, the two worlds, the native and non-native. We're trying to start today's work very, very carefully and to loan you what strength we have, our encouragement and our love to make sure that you travel in a safe way on the trip that you're, you're attempting. We wish you very good luck. I'll see you. In this water, this is our dinner table. Down on the coast, when the tide went out, the table was set. There's so much that we learned from the land. So we don't want you to forget the beauty of the home that you've walked into, of all the animal people, the flying people, the fish people, that this is their home. And we come in here in a humble way to remember that man is not dominant over nature. We are not here to conquer this river. We are here to become a part of the river. That river is an extension of ourselves through our spirit. We are connected as all being a part of creation. Those animals, they can read you. They can hear your thoughts. They'll run from us if we don't carry ourselves in a good way. These trails here, these rivers are our highways. These forests, these mountains, this is our classroom. This is our hospital. This is our church. It is our government. It is our economics. And it's the foundation of who we are as Squamish people. The sacredness of this land where we have been created. These mountains and these rivers will challenge you. They'll cleanse you. They'll help you in your own journey, in your own personal growth. I thank Michael for inviting and recognizing the Squamish people. Asking us to be here with you today. We're very honored for the work that you're doing in our territory. And the way that you conduct yourself in training yourselves mentally, physically, emotionally and spiritually to prepare yourself for this journey. This is the start, of, it's a very symbolic place that we have here. It's the, it's the start of our journey, I guess now. The ceremony is the start of the journey. And I just wish for my uh, teammates that uh, everything goes well and that we'll uh, all be back here in this place in 10 days from now, safe and sound. Uh, every ceremony is a celebration and a greeting because never again will this group come back together in the same way. And these, these four men are taking a journey, what my friend calls the longest journey any human being can make, uh, the journey from their, their head to their heart. This river will be a, a journey like that. We'll see uh, great beauty and they'll also see great destruction along this route. These men won't return the same way to us. They'll come back changed great knowledge, the difficulties that they face will, will push them beyond who they are today. We say that no one starts a journey with enough of what they need to complete it and they need to find it along the way. That's what we're taught. These men start their journey in such a humble way. It speaks well of how they'll carry themselves when they return with the knowledge. We hope that they'll have the, the wisdom to carry it properly and to share what they learn in a humble way, to offer the best that they have in a strong way. And Stelmach, when we, when we start our trip, 
we wash our hands and feet in the water because we know we're enter entering someone else's house. We just introduce ourselves to the river and give a prayer in the way that, way that different people do. Say it in your own way, that you return in a, in a good way and uh, return safely. So, stomps, see I. What you witness here today and in the next few days on your journey, I want you to take that into your heart and bring it home with you to share with your loved ones that couldn't be here with us today. We're very proud of you to, to see people coming onto our land like this and, and doing this kind of work. It's very beautiful. This is something that we could take home and tell our elders and tell our children what you're doing up here. And it creates excitement that we know people are up here doing something good to promote the beauty of the land, to help protect, preserve, and to teach the beauty of that land. Yeah.